We're up about 500 on the session, then we pick up pocket queens and hijack. There's a button straddle, the action's on the small blind first, he raises to 40. The big blind calls, and so does the under the gun player. I could go either way between calling and 3-betting since I imagine the small blind is going to have an extremely narrow opening range with 8 other players to act behind him and being guaranteed to be out of position for the entire hand. Ultimately, I go with a 3-bet to 225. The small blind is an action player, and he's made it clear that he's out to get some Bradley dollars. He makes the call. The big blind and under the gun players both fold. It's heads up in a pot that's already large. The dealer puts out 8-7 deuce with 2 diamonds. The small blind checks. Probably would have gotten 4-bet by aces or kings preflop. I should have the best hand. I don't want to see any overcards or any diamonds without making my opponent pay for it. I bet 300. Shortly after I get my chips out there, the small blind announces a raise to 750. I don't see how I can fold. People somehow always have it though. I've got 1310 total. The opponent has me barely covered. I guess I can't get away from this one. Come on. I get snap called, then I hear. That doesn't make me feel too great. Sounds like I could be up against kings. Not to worry, dudes. We drill a queen on the turn for top set. I table it. The river's a five. We essentially have the nuts. Small blind throws his cards down in frustration. I thought that I might have bad beat him, but it turns out we were ahead the whole time. He has pocket jacks. Our assessment of the situation was correct in that we didn't get four bet preflop, so we were probably ahead. The dealer gets a count of the chips since we were very even to start the hand. What makes this especially cool is that I look behind me and my dad's standing right there watching. I didn't know he was around, but he happened to stop by to bring me some lunch. He gets to see me win a pot that's over $3,000. It's one of the biggest pots that I've won all year. I couldn't be happier since I was certainly going through a rough patch, particularly in sessions that I've been filming. I'm up $21.50 today, but the run good is just getting started. A few hands later, I pick up pocket aces on the button. The hijack limps in. He's the player I had ace king against earlier. I raised it 20. Small blind calls. The hijack calls two. We go three ways to the flop. It's queen four three rainbow. Both players check. I bet 35. Small blind folds. The hijack calls were heads up. The turn is an eight. The opponent checks. I increase the bet size and make it 110. I don't think this player would fold a queen to me for that price. He just flats. This pot is getting big. The river is a six. A few unlikely straights get there. Surprisingly, the hijack announces a bet at 240. He slides his chips in the middle. This is a frustrating situation for me. The vast majority of the time, when opponents aren't the aggressor for the previous streets, and all of a sudden bet big on the river, they typically have two pair or better. Queens is the only hand that I play this way that's better than what I'm currently holding, so I'm at the very top of my range, but I feel like I'm beat. I convince myself that I can be right way less than half the time in this instance and still be profitable by calling, so that's what I do. I put in the sack of chips, and we get some bad news. The player obviously has his beat. Except this time he doesn't. He shockingly has queen seven suited. It looks like he turned his top pair into some sort of bluff. My aces are good. The funny thing is that I was worried after the player called the big bat on the turn that he might have a set. So I was planning on checking back the river. The hijack takes himself to value town. We win another large pot. Our mountain of chips is just getting more mountainy. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate it. If you hit the like and subscribe buttons, this is Brad Owen Cliffs, the new channel. And, uh, you know, this, this main vlog was episode number 11. It came out nearly three years ago for me. And at that time, it was maybe my favorite vlog that I'd ever put out because I had a big win. It was in my hometown. My entire family was there. And the entire weekend was great, actually. We, we celebrated my dad's birthday. And then we all went to a Niners game where we had this awesome come from behind win the year that the Niners went to the Super Bowl. So... Kind of everything just went perfectly and uh, and it's even more special to me now that my dad passed away a few weeks ago so uh, it's just cool to look back on these clips. If you want to see the entire vlog of this I'll have a link pinned in the comment section below. Don't miss it if you haven't seen it yet because it's a very special one for me. Alright guys, hope you're all doing well. Stay safe, good luck at the tables and I'll see you next time.